wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best art history textbooks. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. For those who want to supplement their course readings or simply learn more for fun, A World History is a concise overview intended for a popular audience. The 900 illustrations packed into this pocket-sized volume are nice, but hard to appreciate due to their small size. It's great as a brief guide or refresher and is presented in chronological order. However, there is a heavy focus on European works. At number 9, for both students and hobbyists alike, the annotated Mona Lisa is a crash course in visual studies surveying time and the globe. Through concise summaries and helpful text boxes, this volume demystifies pieces from the prehistoric ages to contemporary installation works. It contains over 300 illustrations and is an updated third edition, but the content is not very diverse. Coming in at number 8 on our list. Although it focuses mainly on Europe and the Western canon, this reissued 8th edition of Janssen's History Volume 1 is written with an interesting angle. It concentrates on the importance of the artist's role in society, as well as the method by which pieces were made. It's contributed to by many authors, and the language is particularly eloquent. However, it doesn't cover some world regions. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Art History Textbooks, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, based on a BBC TV show of the same name, Ways of Seeing is an essential volume for any student of aesthetics. John Berger introduces relatively complex ideas and critiques of how Western culture views media in a fluid, accessible way, including one purely visual essay. This one focuses on theory and was influenced by Walter Benjamin, but the images are black and white. Moving up our list to number 6. Intended for college students dabbling or majoring in the subject, 19th century delves into painting, sculpture and photography during that period. Those looking to develop an up-to-date critical imagination and an appreciation of canonized works will also enjoy it. It explores complex theory and ideas, and the images are in both color and black and white. This fourth edition has revised chapters. Halfway up our list at number five. For a solid overview of the largest Asian country's tradition, art in China covers the development of its visual culture over the past 5,000 years. Encompassing early religious pieces as well as contemporary media works, this is a great introduction to the region. It covers many different types of work, and the writing is engaging and accessible. It contains over a hundred illustrations. At number four, now in its sixth edition, this global survey of visual culture by Marilyn Stockstad and Michael W. Cothran is updated to reflect developments in research, classroom technology, and perspectives on the canon. With color images, it will inspire anyone to appreciate the subject. It covers prehistoric and modern works and is written in an accessible tone. It's an excellent introduction to the field. Nearing the top of our list at number three, Intended for Western audiences, Art in Africa critiques and rethinks the colonial frameworks within which objects from the continent have historically been studied and seen. Uniquely, it also discusses contemporary works in the context of a global aesthetic conversation. It takes a fresh approach to the topic and surveys ancient and modern pieces. It provides an indigenous perspective. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Art History Textbooks, or simply click beneath this video. At number two, covering both aesthetic trends and the social conditions that inspired them, this overview of modern works by H. H. Arneson and Elizabeth C. Mansfield is a great source for freshmen and graduate students alike. Plus, it's inclusive of pieces by women and people of color. It includes very high-quality images and challenging and in-depth analyses. It discusses architecture as well. And taking the top spot on our list. First published in the 1920s and now in its 14th edition, Gardeners Through the Ages is a thorough resource on global visual culture throughout history. Unique components include a scale that shows the real size of each piece and summaries at the end of each chapter. This one goes beyond the Western canon and has been updated by a seasoned professor. It begins with the Stone Age. 
our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Art History Textbooks, or simply click beneath this video.